Hey friends, welcome back to Little Line Living. It's Mary Beth. And today we are gonna get um, a couple things done. So for today, I have planned is my first seed starting day. It is mainly my pepper group and then I have some flowers as well, but it is February 19th. So I am starting these today on a Sunday and hopefully they will grow to be prosperous plants since it's my first time. As well, we got some baby chicks. So my husband is working outside on building out our chicken coop. We had a lot of things in there that need to be um, taken out and thrown away. And so he is going through that right now. And then we are gonna get our designs together. So I might be able to show y'all that as well. So we just picked up our first little batch of chicks today. Um, I got them at Buckeyes, our local store. And they are so cute. I got 10 of them. And then when my husband went to go pick them up, he got two more, he said they were just too cute. So I will um, go ahead and show them to you. Here they are. We have 12 total in six different varieties. There's two of each. So I am gonna go ahead and take them down to my uncle's house where we are keeping them. Um, he has a perfect little spot for them to stay warm and nice and cozy until they are ready to go out in our coop. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to pick out my little package that I had before that I'd all organized last week that said um, my date and when my seeds need to be started. So I have my February, oh, that's upside down. February 18th, oh, no, that's up. <laughs> sorry. So I have my February 18th packet here. And I'm going to be planting these seeds today. So it's actually February 19th. I didn't get around to it yesterday. I was trying to put an in-ground dog fence in. It did not go so well. So that is A-OK. -okay. So I'm just going to start those today instead. So I'm going to get my packet out. I have my packet of soil here. And I have a tub because I'm going to mix this soil in. It's seed starting soil specifically. I'm going to mix this soil in with some water in this tub to make sure that my soil is nice and moist when I put them into um, their cells. I'm gonna go fill it with some water and make sure it's nice and moist. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take all of my soil here and I'm gonna fill it into all of my holes. Actually, let's take the bottom off first.
it is all filled with my soil. Now that I have all my holes filled with soil right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a pencil end that I have right here and I'm gonna poke a little hole into every single um, cell. So I'm gonna take my little pencil, I'm just gonna shove it in there. This is so that I have a good place to get my seed put straight into. And I don't wanna put it very deep, it's just about eraser deep because I don't want my seeds to be so deep into my cells that they're kind of having a hard time coming up. I want them to be almost at surface level. So we're just gonna take a little, little dip into every single hole here. All of my cells have holes in them. These are all perfect little spots to just drop my seed. I'm gonna go ahead and take my February 18th seed packet and I am going to poke a hole, or not poke a hole, sorry, put a seed into every single one of um, these holes. So the first one that I'm gonna start out with is my hot cayenne peppers. I'm gonna plant probably three of these plants. I would say about three, I think three sounds good. So I'm just gonna open my little packet here. And I am going to drop in two to three seeds. Well, let's look what we got here first. Okay, so I have my these are California Wonders peppers that I'm gonna plant as well. I have the banana peppers, my husband and I's favorites. I have the good old fashioned jalapeno. And then I have just some um, regular flowers. So I have some Thumbergia this week, some pansies, some impatience, and some asylum. So those are all the things that are going in this week. So. Since that's all that I'm putting in, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of these and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have 12 holes total. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> We're just gonna do all six. Let's just do six of these plants, why not? Cause you never know really what might be successful. I'm just gonna drop two or three of those seeds in there. Okay. Cause there's a high chance you never know if anything's actually going to germinate or not. So I'm gonna go to just Put this in there, I'm gonna lightly cover up the tops of these pepper seeds, just lightly, very, very lightly. Okay, so that is my cayenne peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and write this down in my book. So I just made like a little a cell in my book. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I just put cayenne peppers in the first, there we go, in the first hole up in the corner. Just so that I can come back to it and I know what I put in there. Now I'm gonna do my jalapenos. I'm gonna go ahead and plant two or three seeds. I need one of these. Or four. <laughs> oh, you shoot me there. Okay. And then I'm 
just going to lightly cover those bad boys up. Wow, that is way too far. We're just gonna finger cover them up. Just lightly put a little bit of soil over it with my finger. Okay. And now I'm gonna write my jalapeno. I think one of my cats found their way into my garage. I'm in my garage today because it is very, very windy today. It has been for the last couple days. And so this is the best place that I found to get out of the wind a little bit. Now I have my sweet banana peppers, which are a personal favorite of my husband and I. So I'm gonna pray that these come up nicely. I'm just gonna put around three seeds, three or four seeds. It's supposed to be two or three, but it's coming up to be about three or four, but that is a-okay. Again, I'm lightly just going to barely put them in there. I'm not going to um, push them down really deep because I don't want them to be suffocated by the soil and have a hard time coming up. Just plop those in there and just cover them up with my finger. So now we have banana peppers. In my next one, a California Wonder Pepper. These are just like a regular um, pepper that you might find at the store. <clears throat> like one you'd use possibly for fajitas. These are pretty nice and bright red. These are pretty bright red seeds. We're just gonna use a couple of those. And there we go. Kind of made a mess on that one there. Okay. And I'm just going to lightly cover them up with my finger. Got some little peekers here. Peeking through. Okay. Now that I have my top four cells, well, I guess they're bottom three, but they're top four for me. These one, two, three, and four, all of those have my pepper varieties in them. I am gonna go ahead and leave these empty for now, and I'm gonna start my flowers on the bottom. So all of these flowers that I have picked out are all annual flowers, so they will not be coming back next year. So I am um, gonna see how these turn out. They should be okay. I've, I mean, I've had pansies and impatience before. I've never even heard of Thumbergia and i've heard of asylum never planted any of it so we're gonna get those in here too on this um the bottom set right here the first one i'm gonna do is my impatience These are like the world's tiniest seeds. They're little bitty little baby seeds. I'm gonna go ahead and plant those into the hole right there. I'm gonna put quite a few in there because they are so small. Okay. And then I think what I'm gonna do, since I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use up the rest of these. 
since I have these two holes that are actually left, now that I think about it, I'm gonna go ahead and plant these and whatever's left in the top set that I have left here. So I just had enough for three more. So I filled this whole bottom square. So I'll have six of those. I filled this whole bottom square with the impatience and then I did the top three right here. I'm gonna go ahead with my pansies. These packs are really hard to get into. These are also really, really small. They are itty bitty love seats. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop these in too. And then I got a couple left, so I'm gonna fill in two holes up here. And then I'm going to just finger cover them. next one that I'm going to do is my Thunbergia. And this is actually a climber. Oops. So these have a large, very large seats. Okay. These are pretty decent sized circular seats. They're kind of rolling. Oops, I lost one. But they're pretty, I mean, they're a pretty good size. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take these and plop them into the cells. I'm gonna go ahead and double up on these. I just did one at first, but now I think I'm gonna go back and put two of these little seeds in every hole. I have just enough for that. Okay, and I'm going to cover them up. And then the last one that I have is my Asylum. This is actually a purple Asylum. It's Royal Carpet is what the, um, the variety is. Oh wow, they're all at the top, okay. There is a lot of these little boys. Maybe we'll just plant a lot of it. Why not, right? Okay, there's the whole entire bag. It's really, really tiny still. I'm gonna go ahead and plop these. I'm gonna put quite a few in these holes because they are so darn small. I feel like I should, I don't know. Let's just fill another cell, why not? These are just so tiny, oh my goodness. Why not? Let's just fill the other cell too. Let's just go for another cell. I can share with my family. <laughs> okay, I think we out the rest of these cells.
with our last packet. I am just covering them all up. Okay. They are now all covered up and filled. They look so good. I am so excited to get this started. So actually under this, this tray that you guys can see on the bottom is actually the water holding tray. So it holds the water. Um, I could just put the water in here and they will soak it up from the bottom. I have not fully decided yet if I am going to soak it up from the bottom or just water from the top, but that is an option as well. So I'm going to take these in the house. I'm going to put my lid on these. This is so that it can, it retains the moisture inside of the trays. And once they germinate, you want to go ahead and take this lid off. So I'm going to put this on for right now. Once I see that I have green sprouts coming up, I can go ahead and take this lid off. Granted, it's a little chilly in my back porch right now, and I do not have the proper system to set up for lighting. It is, um, it's like 40 degrees today, but that is a okay. I think they'll still be fine. I'm going to put these on the shelf that I showed you guys in my last video, and we will let them sit and see how they do. He's right in. Now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys our little chicken coop that we're making. We just picked up our chicks. There's 12 of them. And we are trying to get a chicken coop made and set up for them. So we actually have this back shed. Let me show you. This room right here is our planned chicken coop room. Right now is just a back little, I guess you could call it storage room in our shed. Our shed is in three parts. One part that is open for our lawnmower here. I'll show you that here. And then on the other side of this is another door and it leads to a really, really cute little room. And then we have this room. So this is what we're gonna turn into our chicken coop. We're planning on taking this top shelf out and then we are gonna put our actual um, like nests in there, I guess like egg laying nests in there, our coops for our hens. And then we're gonna get rid of all of the junk. I'm hoping to put a roost in here as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on this wall or on this wall but we have got some work to get done for sure. It's got some shelves on both sides. Here, I'll show you. So we've got some work to get done, that is for sure. And then our chicken run is going to come out from this door. Our chicken run is gonna come out from this door right here. We are gonna bring it all the way across. And then it is going to go down and then over this way and then back down and meet the corner of this. So it's going to have a corner, corner, and then post right here, right where the edge of our shed is. So it'll be a pretty decent size, let me see, a pretty decent sized chicken run for all of our chickens, our hens. So now that I have started our first seeds and I've kind of shown you our chicken coop layout, um, <coughs> I just want to say, Thank you for um, coming along. So next week I will be starting my, or not next week, in two weeks, I'll be starting my second round of seeds. And then hopefully we should have most of our chicken coop done. And then we will be getting our chicken run done pretty soon. Um, within the next couple weeks as well, I will have my garden tilt, which I'm so, so excited about. And I will be starting my cold weather crops directly into the ground. So if you guys would like to see some of that, feel free to follow along. And I hope you all have a great day.